Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating animated GIFs in Canva and I'm going to show you three ways to do this and they're all available in the free version. So the first one is going to be to kickstart a design using an animated element. So I'm going to click on create a design. I'm going to custom dimensions and make one that is a thousand by one thousand pixels in size and I'll just click create new design. Now inside Canva there are a whole series of animated elements you can use. So let's go to elements and let's go looking for stickers. So these are all stickers that you can get access to and the stickers are animated. Now I want a sticker that is a cake because I'm going to sort of think about making a birthday card. So here is the cake sticker that I'm going to use. Now this is animated and you may have noticed that as soon as I dragged it into the workspace that I actually got the timing and the animate option here. So what I'm going to do is just scale this down a little bit and I'm going to add happy birthday. So I'm going to the text. Now I could probably find text for happy birthday. I'm just going to add it myself. I'm going to add these as separate elements. So let's just put in happy first of all and let's go and get a font to use for it. Again, I'm just using the free fonts here. So I'm going to make this a little bit larger. I'll just drag it and make it even a bit larger still. Now I want to make a duplicate of this object so I'm going to select it and go up here to this duplicate because that makes a duplicate of the element. This one makes a duplicate of the page. Very different. Okay, so let's go and get this one. I'm going to change the color here. So I'm going up to the color picker. I'm going to use a color that's sort of reminiscent of this color. Not quite this one, but let's select it and then just make it a little bit darker, a little bit less saturated. See if we can come up something a bit closer to this color here. Now this is animated and it's a five second animation. So when I just click here to play it, we'll just see the animation for five seconds. The text isn't animated, however. So let's go and see how we could perhaps animate the text. I'm going to make a duplicate of this page and I'm going to make another duplicate of the page. I'm going to this one. I'm going to remove the text from it. Just leaving in the animated cake. Then this one I'm going to remove birthday but leave in happy and this one I'm going to leave in both these pieces of text. Now when we run the animation we're going to see it build up. The problem is it's really really slow. So here comes happy and here comes birthday. Wait, 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 wait. Okay so let's go and speed this up because we're now in the animate option. You'll see here that we've got a timer on this. So I'm going to set it at 0.3 because that's a pretty good sort of time. It's a third of a second. Well, just under a third of a second. So I'm clicking on each page in turn and typing 0.3. Now we've got an animation that's less than one second. Let's play it this time. You can see it's much better animation. Now that's going to go over and over and over again. So if you want, for example, to have this text move a little bit, let's see how we do that. I'm going to duplicate this page a couple more times. And what I'm going to do is go to this one and just nudge the text. I'm going to nudge it a couple of pixels down and across. So just arrowing a couple down and across or slightly different direction for each of these. Now these pages maintain the same animation timing as we had set for the page that we made a duplicate from. So now we've got a one and a half second animation. So here you can see that this text is moving a little bit. And you could continue to make it move more if you wanted to, but let's just go and see how we download it. Going here and we're going to choose download and we're going to choose animated GIF. Now we can use GIF, we're going to do all five pages here. GIF will save a moving image, an animated image with no sound. And we didn't have any sound so we can easily select GIF for that. So I'm just going to call this birthday GIF and download it. Now let's go and see how it looks. I'm going to open this and I've already set it to open in Chrome. 
So this is an animated GIF and it's just going round and round and round and round. So that's one way of creating an animated GIF in Canva. Another way of creating an animation is to use an animated social media template. So I'm just using the animated social media template. I'm going through here to find a design that I like that's free. This one's not free. I really like it, but it's not free. So let's just go and get this one. Now I can change the background on it. So let's just go and make it a sort of pinker. Oh, let's make it this color. Not a really good color. Let's go for something darker. And you can change these elements if you don't want some of these stickers or if you want to add different stickers, you can add them to them. So just go to elements, look up stickers. And if you're using the free one, then just go and find free stickers that are going to work for you. There's heaps and heaps that you can use here. I'm going to just add a little bit of sort of confetti behind everything here. Now this is an animation. You can see it's a five second animation. We can play it just to see what it looks like. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to size the confetti up a little bit so it actually runs the whole size of my document. So if I'm happy with that, I'm going to download my video. Now you can download as MP4 or a GIF. I'm going to make mine a GIF and click download. Because this is five seconds long and because it has so much of an animation in it, it's taking a little while to download. Once I'm done, I'm going to click here to open it. And I have my five second animation. So, so far we've made our designs using the animated elements from Canva but it's possible to also make them from static images. So let's just go and create a new design. I'm going to create a 1000 by 1000 pixel design. This has no animated elements on it at all. Now I'm going to add some text here. So I'm just going to say happy birthday. And I'm going to make it the same way as we did it previously by formatting my text and then just moving things around. So let's just go and get some text that's a little bit easier to read this time. I'm also going to add a cake element, but this time I'm not going to use a sticker. So I'm just using a cake that is itself not animated. So let's just go and bring this cake in here. I'm going to see if I can match the colors a little bit better here. Okay, so I've got my happy birthday message. I'm going to make a duplicate of this page. And then I'm going to duplicate it again and a couple more times too. So I've got plenty of copies of it. Now this first one, we're just going to delete the text from it like we did last time. This one, I'm going to have happy appear, but not birthday. This is going to be happy birthday. Here, I'm going to switch the colors around. So I'm just going to change the color of this. This one, the colors changed back again. Let's just duplicate it again and let's go and reverse the colors. Okay, but we still don't have any animation here at all. Well, let's go and fix that. I'm going to select this. I'm going to tap on animate here. Now I don't want any animation at all, but I need it to kick start into here. So I'm just going to go to block and that gives me a five second block animation. And in actual fact, I'm going to apply it to all of the pages. So now we've got a five second animation on every single page. Well, we're going to bring this back to 0.3. And we're going to go through every page and time it at 0.3. Now you can just click on each page in turn and just double check to make sure that you've got the right length of animation. Now you can check the speed of that, but this is not going to be what the final animation is going to look like because we're not actually going to use this block animation. But we have to have some animation in place for us to even test the speed. So let's just go and have a look. Okay, 
it looks pretty awful but it's actual fact going to look pretty okay what we're going to do is we're going to click on block and we're going to do none and we're going to do apply to all pages so now we have a three second animation here but we don't have an animated effect what we're going to do is use these pages to be our animation so let's go to download and let's go and select GIF all six pages click download so this is a way of forcing Canva into what we want so I'm just going to call this happy GIF that's just fine let's open it and you can see that we're getting what we asked for. It's not what we saw in Canva because Canva's not going to show you this because it's not one of its custom animation types. But what we're actually doing is forcing this to be an animation. And we're able to control the timing of it because we set it to be an animated element using a block or some other animation, doesn't really matter. That allowed us to set up the animation timing and then we just removed it, but the timing stays in place. So it's a little bit funky, but it's certainly well and truly doable once you understand the process. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned things about Canva of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.